What in the French toast fuck am I looking at? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, hello, uh, my name's Trevor and I'm feeling extra and I, I, uh, no words. Apparently a Raditz can beat fucking Goku. I guess this is the meme now. As you can see, this is the information coming from Mr. Hulk. And I guess he's a gamer as well. Hmm, nice. Well, let's go over his brief Twitter thread and see if he's actually correct in some of these facts. Our dear man, the Hulk, is telling us to look at the first two moves of Quick Attack and Endeavor. Well, it's crazy. He's actually gone really in-depth with this, and I'm really surprised. I don't even have to do much research. Holy shit. He starts making his case with the move Endeavor. Endeavor reduces the opponent's HP to the user's HP. It only fails if the user's HP is actually higher than the target's. I mean, he's making a solid point. I mean, how much HP does a Goku have? I'm pretty sure higher than a Radita. He continues making his case with the move Quick Attack. Quick Attack has a higher priority and always will attack first, regardless of the speed of the opponent. I want to press X for doubt, but it's beginning to be like all Carfax, no cap on the app. And the final nail in the coffin to beat Goku is Focus Sash. Oh my god, this seems plausible. In short, for the uninitiated, Focus Sash basically allows you not to get KO'd by a one hit, one shot, leaving you with at least one HP. This is becoming more and more plausible, holy fucking shit. Apparently, if Goku went first, this would leave Raditz with one HP. Thanks to Focus Sash, he would not get knocked out. Then he would just use Endeavor to equalize their fucking health. Then on the next turn, if this is Pokemon rules, on the next turn, he would just use fucking Quick Attack, and it would be faster irregardless. Oh my fucking god, a fucking Rattata can beat Goku, and this is the stupidest yet smartest threat I've ever seen.